let's dive in a little bit to OCI artifacts. Uh, this is why I was really excited to give this particular webinar because it's sitting at an interesting intersection of technologies. So what's OCI and what's artifacts? The things I'm assuming that most people who are, who are coming here have at least used Docker and probably are using things like OCI every day, even if you don't know what it is. But I also assume there's probably plenty of people who know what it is. But just to level set, we have uh, just a couple little introductions here. The first thing is that it's OCI is Open Container Initiative. So it's an open governance thing. I believe it's under the Linux Foundation and it's meant to be the standard around the different formatting and runtime things for containers. And one of those things is the OCI distribution specification, which is what we're leveraging here. And that is what defines what these images look like, how they're stored, how you can access them. And over the past few years, OCI has built up support for uh, basically arbitrary types, which we call artifacts. And you can store and serve things that are other than uh, container images. And that's what has been going on for a while. If you've used Helm for any significant amount of time, um, I remember when we added the OCI feature there, that was kind of one of the first use cases that people had of pushing just something that wasn't a container, but container adjacent in that case for artifacts. And so the type of an artifact is determined by two different things. The older format used the media type. And with the latest specification, which is 1.1, they added the artifact type field. So the only disadvantage right now is this is still being rolled out. There's some registries that don't support it. Like Docker Hub can sometimes and sometimes not support certain types of these. And it just depends on your registry. But, but a good chunk of them that you're likely using, I think most of the cloud registries from the, the big cloud providers that I've used support it. They do require explicit support from each of the registry implementations to know that they can support artifacts and also for the clients that are pulling them. For example, I know as the Rust client maintainer that we don't have support for the artifact type one yet. We just have the config.media type one because um, 1.1 came out and just need to do the effort to implement all the 1.1 spec. So just be aware that it's still evolving, but it's really heavily used across the industry. Blake already listed all the different industries it's used across. And so it's a very uh, powerful tool that lets us leverage all the benefits of OCI without having to be a container.